I remember the day I was diagnosed with pelvic organ prolapse just like yesterday. My knee-jerk reaction was, I have what? I had no clue what my doctor was talking about. Hi, I'm Sherry Palm, the founder and CEO of APOPS, the Association for Pelvic Organ Prolapse Support. Women react differently to that diagnosis of pelvic organ prolapse. More often than not, women have no clue what the condition means. They likely have never heard of the condition before their diagnosis. And often what comes with that diagnosis is fear, anger, anxiety. And I'm here to tell you that fear does not fix POP, anger does not fix POP, and anxiety does not fix POP. It's truly important that you educate yourself about this condition and seek guidance and support from others who have been through pelvic organ prolapse. It will help you navigate and get back to ballast. Once you have sources of information and education, it will help you choose the right treatment options to treat POP and you'll be able to move forward with your life. I encourage you to look at the APOPS library page. There are multiple articles there with insights that will be of value to you. And additionally, I encourage you to talk to other women about your condition and whether you choose to do it face-to-face -face or within a secure environment like the APOPS chat room is obviously your choice, whatever works best for you. But it's important that you talk to someone about it because the best way to level those fears and anxiety and anger is to reach out to others who've been there and done that. I'm hopeful you'll find the answers that you seek.